Hey everyone, some of you have probably noticed that I wear a knee brace in some of my videos and I recently just got another one. So here is my custom carbon fiber knee brace. And so today then I'll be talking about how I came to knee braces and how they turned me from disabled to abled. Knees are absolutely terrible things. So most weight bearing joints in the human body sit on nice flat surfaces or they have a really well made socket that they sit in, but not knees. Knees are literally two bony sticks precariously perched upon one another with five ligaments duct taping the whole thing together. It looks like the work of, you know, in a company where the president's son creates a terrible design and everyone just says yes to it because they don't want to be fired. This looks exactly like that with the human body. But that's enough about the evolutionary failure of knees and my absolute hatred for them. Let's talk about how I came to need knee braces. So I've always loved doing martial arts and I started doing Taekwondo when I was 12. And at the dojang that I was at, then the master was very focused on teaching a martial version of Taekwondo. So that included punches to the head and kicks below the belt. And so we spent a lot of time doing leg kicks, what, like what you would see in MMA today. And being a young teenager, then I took a lot of leg kicks to both legs. Now I'd like to tell everyone that that's where the story ends and that, you know, I got kicked and that's why I need a knee brace. But sadly life isn't as cool as that. So after years of taking leg kicks, then I had pretty dodgy knees. They slipped, they clicked and they hurt all over. And you know, this was all when I was a teenager. So at the time then I stopped doing martial arts and I pursued a more sedentary lifestyle. So fast forward a few years, um, I, yeah, I'm in my first year of university and I see that they have a Taekwondo club. So I decided to start again. And given that I've had a few years hiatus, then I decided to start as a white belt. And a few weeks in, then I thought, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can do a tornado kick again. So I go for a 360 tornado kick and on the landing, my left foot hit the ground and it stayed there, but the rest of my body kept twisting. And so my left knee crunched, it twisted and it bent the wrong way. And so after years of taking all of these devastating leg kicks that would have made a fantastic story for uh, a knee brace, then it was because I was overconfident and failed the landing of a tornado kick. And that was sort of the last straw that broke the camel's back. So when people ask, oh, you got a knee brace, what happened? I usually just tell the first half of the story. You know, I took, I took devastating leg kicks in, in MMA, so that, that's it, that's exactly why I need a knee brace. But anyway, so here's where Osa comes into the story. So I tried a lot of different knee braces, but they didn't really help because I have a dodgy meniscus on the lateral side and also a partial ACL tear. So I need to prevent the knee from twisting and I need to prevent the knee from hyperextending. And for most sports, then that's okay. But for martial arts with kicks, then that is most motions. Most motions are going to put the knee at risk of twisting and at risk of hyperextending. And so martial arts was a pain. And so, Doing martial arts, you know, as starting again as a white belt, I absolutely loved martial arts. I've always loved martial arts, but I thought I might have to actually stop because the pain was too much. But then my master at the time, he is actually a below the knee amputee and he had a prosthetic leg made by Osa. And he said, well, if I can do it with one leg, then you can do it with a dodgy knee. So he referred me to Osa and then they made me a knee brace. And so this is the CTI Custom, which is a carbon fiber knee brace, which is made specifically to a mold of my leg. Because my leg has quite a big valgus deformity, um, then this is the most comfortable and this helps a lot. And it's also got a huge level of protection. So with this, then I could start up again and I could do all of the things I did in martial arts and I could keep training, which I'm very thankful to Osa for helping me out and letting me do all of that. Now sadly the story doesn't end there. So my left knee has a brace and so it can do all of the things that I wanted to do with a perfectly healthy knee. But my right knee had also taken quite a lot of leg kicks and so it wasn't in a pristine state. And so now that my left knee was able to take the rigors of what a normal knee would take, then it was fine. But my right knee was taking a lot of damage because it, it's not perfect. And so fast forward a few years of doing that, then even just running was starting to cause a lot of pain to my right knee, just because of all the built up damage. So I recently reached out to Osser again and I said, well, you know, I've got a, a knee brace for my left knee, but my right knee really hurts. 
So they recommended that I get another CTI custom and they made it up for me. And when it came, then it wasn't 100% a perfect fit, fit because I have quite bony knees and there was just this one bony protrusion that was pressing up against the frame. And you know, it was within normal limits, but it just felt a little bit uncomfortable. So I said to Asa, hey, sorry about this. You know, my knee, my, my knee brace just feels a little bit off. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. And they said, yeah, sure, no problems. So they took it back and they remade it free of charge. And they will actually continue to do that for the rest of my life because as I grow older, I might get fatter, I might put on more weight. And if my knee changes, then they'll change the shape of the brace as well. So after I got my right knee brace, now I've got two good knees with the braces, then I thought I would test it out with some 2v1 sparring. So I'll let you enjoy the footage of that. <laughs> oh man, that was good. Flanked. Yeah, that was the point. Give us a smile. <laughs> all right, so what's the takeaway message from all of this? Well, people are really scared to get braces and supports because they think, oh, you know, I'll be disabled if I need to wear a brace for all the exercise I want to do. But it's the exact opposite because these knee braces have enabled me to do everything that I want. I'm not disabled because I have a knee brace, I'm enabled because I have the knee brace. Without the knee braces, I wouldn't be able to do martial arts, I wouldn't be able to do taekwondo, and I wouldn't be able to do much of my sword forms either. So this isn't an ad for OSA. OSA doesn't pay me, they don't sponsor me. This is just me trying to encourage people who need braces, who need support, to go and get the support you need. If you've got a dodgy leg, you've got a dodgy joint, then don't keep wearing on it, just get it fixed get some help and prevent further damage. You've only got one body, so make sure you take care of it, make sure you treat it right, because you're not gonna get another one. And people say, oh, just man up and deal with the pain. You're not a man for living with treatable, preventable pain that's causing you more damage. You're an idiot, so go and get it fixed. Oh, and also another message would be, don't take leg kicks. Leg kicks are terrible things, just don't do it. If you don't need to be in a situation where you take leg kicks, just say, no thank you, no leg kicks for me, because knees are terrible, so don't take hits to them. So I hope you enjoyed my story, and with that, I'll see you next time.